mature audiences only. Oh, oh. we're just gonna hop right oh, into this. Jesus, sweet <laughs> Jesus. So, as you can tell, I'm not alone for this. This is not even actually my copy of this game. First off, I will point out, this is the actual N64 copy, not emulator or the uh, this release. Is, this is the OG shit. This as you can tell by the... Uh, with how protective Nintendo was of stuff, I'm, I'm amazed that they were just like, okay, you can change saw the logo in half and get rid of it. it yeah. just... <laughs> I'm, I'm like, this game's rated M, but like, if this came out today, it'd be rated T, for sure. Because like, this was what, 1996, 1993? I believe so, yeah. Something like that. It was it was a long time ago. I just, I just remember... The cock and plunker. The cock and plunker. I just remember 10-year-old me thinking this was the coolest shit. Because they said bad words, and you could kill stuff. It was like, it was like James Bond with bad words, and that was just, that was all I needed to be excited as fuck. <laughs> So, uh, so hi, you guys know me probably fairly well by now, I'm Blue Bomber MO. I'm probably going to be referred to as Ian throughout the videos, and my friend here is Evan. Yo, that's me, I'm Evan. Uh, do you do much on your YouTube channel these days? I have mostly? a YouTube channel? Like, for... No, I literally just, just watch like, just I don't, watch I don't stuff don't now, stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't do stuff, I'm just... We did, we, um, some of you guys might remember we did Papers, Please a few times, and I, I think... A few stream few appearances streams. mostly in the past we have a little stream. bit. We haven't done, um, we haven't done video series like this together before. No, we haven't done a Let's Play before. So, this should be interesting. And because copies of Conker's Bad Fur Day are, like, straight up $150, and I, t and I actually happen to have one, which is exciting. And I, I got it for a steal. I paid, like, $30 for that. Oh, my God. Which was... And it was really cool because I told the guy, I was like, you know this is worth a lot, right? <laughs> and he was like, don't care. So I was like, tight! And here we go. The sad... So I learned recently... Okay, we'll let this, like, start up first, but... I didn't know that even the music of this was a perfect reference to, um, Clockwork Orange. Oh, really? Yes, if we... This shot... And the music and the way it pans out, if you sync it up side by side to the open end Clockwork Orange, is oh. exactly the same. I just, I, I, like, I played this game when I was like 10 or 11 or 12, and I obviously got zero of these references, because <laughs> I have no idea what any of this shit is. Like, they make references to a lot of 90s pop culture that I didn't consume until I was a lot older. And, like, just, I remember replaying this, like, two years ago, and I was like, oh my god, this is already just so fucking beautiful. <laughs> Because it's Alex in the milk bar. Even his face mm -hmm. is it's just... Just synced up, just like, beautiful. all the way. If you haven't seen Clockwork Orange, I sincerely recommend you watch it. But, like, it's a pretty intense movie. To keep that in mind, too. Well, there I am. <laughs> Conquer the king. I love king the of all, the all the land. All the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this? I hear you say. And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? <laughs> it's, the day. it's been years, I still remember this opening cutscene so much. Story. Yeah, how many times have I seen this? Probably, like, jeez. I, it all started I, I always try to wonder, I'm always wondering one. what Conquered what accent I is. Like, what they're trying the to pin down. Like, well, the, the actor's British. Oh, really? Yes. Um, oh, I had no idea. The actor is actually one of the game's designers. Oh. Uh, I believe his name is Chris. But, um, yeah, he was just one of the lead designers on the game. He's doing a really good job of concealing his accent. He does, like, a majority of the voices in this game, too. Aw, squirrel. <laughs> All the furries out there. This Going is for hardcore. You. This like, is for you. They. They took the time to model that specifically. They were like, check out that ass. So they were like, we gotta make sure that this looks good. That's nothing compared to what they do today. Hi. No. But, like, like Barry's place. But for the N64, it's pretty amusing. However, if you leave your, like, name and number, they send cues. And send cues. Ciao. Fucking ciao. Hi, Barry. Hello. Barry, if you never pick up. Just <laughs> 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 about, hey! Fucking things on. breaking <laughs> in the background. Well, met up with a couple of the guys, and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. I love anyway, the continuity um, of this game. Like, I like that he's not actually lying. Yeah, like at, at that all, moment, at all. Like, it sounds like he's making crap up, but he's not lying. Like their world that they live in is just so oddly fragmented. Like, there's like all the shenanigans. 
what? happening in all these like places okay. that have nothing to do with each other, and then there's like <laughs> a, there's fight. World War Two is happening, like essentially. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. So the weasels there, obviously, I never referenced the uh, font and logo, identical to the Beatles. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch that one the first time. Oh, the font is, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely identical. Except for I don't remember the clarinet player in the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, no. Get off my stone! I, I feel like, I don't want to say it's something that could might spoil something, but I feel like... Can you really spoil a game that's 20 plus years old? Not necessarily, I guess not. I mean, like, there's... It, I wonder if anyone that watches these, watches your videos on a regular basis, you know, that isn't, like... Most people that watch your videos on a regular basis would consider themselves a gamer. How could they have not heard of this game before? Or played it at all? Yeah. Like, somebody's got this. People gotta, people gotta know what's going on. that god-awful frame rate because of all the stuff too many big models and the rain going on oh the rain yeah i, I was i was what is the processing power of an n64 i do not remember uh, it can't be too bad anyway it seems pretty familiar to me <laughs> that reminds me of that time we went under the deck of my house to try and steal a ladder to get on top of the old school and we were just like Okay, now I'm making references to shit that none of you have any idea about. That was years ago, too. Years ago, when we were younger, trying to sneak onto a building in the small village where I lived on, but I was too fat to pull myself <laughs> up. So we're like, let's go get a ladder from my house. So we went to my house and under my deck, and my dad was upstairs, and we're trying to get a ladder out without, you know, smashing shit all over the place from the shed. We're like, shh, come back. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. The shenanigans we used to get into, but now we're all shitty adults and we just work and oh, no. we're sad. Have no lives. <laughs> Have no lives. This we is don't the first to... exciting thing we've done in a while, in a sitting down time. and playing this video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sad mundane eddy of adulthood. I feel like the milk is like such a big deal, but like I feel like the Panther King should have like another table. <laughs> yeah, or... that's a that's a big one. But I feel like the Panther King should be like eating meat or something. But I guess I, is Kitty is, loves milk. Kitty loves milk. Yeah. Kitty loves milk. God, it's dark. What a dark cutscene, yeah. That is super dark. It's because it's menacing, and mysterious. The Panther King. See, when I was younger... In the same world of World War II, in the Squirrel Land, they also have yeah. Panther King. They also have Panther Fantasy King. Fantasy Panther uh, King. I mean, to be fair, during World War II, English... The English still had a king. They were still King George. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't... I didn't ever realize when I was younger... Because I used to just play this game, like, chapter by chapter. Like, I'd go over to my buddy's house, and you would have it, and I'd be like... Oh, let's just play the barn part because the paintbrush and the paint counter are so fucking funny. Yeah. Or let's play the war part because it's the war part and that's cool. But I never realized that the entire motivation for everybody antagonized, like the antagonist's motivation for getting Conquer was because he needed a table leg. <laughs> and Conquer was the perfect size for the table leg. Thick. I feel thick. I always hate the drunk sequences. You just. You just move so fucking Just slow. a little bit majorly slow. <laughs> just a little bit. Like the most painful walk speed you could have at the start of your video game, honestly. But whatever. I wonder how many people were just like, "Fuck this shit." And just gave up right away. Just for like, like if, th if this is the game, then I'm out. I'm out. Hey, hey. Uh, who are you? Oh, alcoholism is so oh, funny. Oh. Can you help me? I I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no. No. It's like a uh, like a demonic consuela. No. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Mr. Superman was like Maybe. Um, Morty okay. STDs. Morty like? STDs. <laughs> Beardy. You haven't got a beard. No. What was the other one you said? Uh, Hitler, 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 Hitler. Um, I'm referring to the enemies in Resident Evil 4, by the way. Yeah, that's not just something we do for fun. <laughs> it's not Ian, just, Ian just... We don't... Come over and just we don't want silently Hitler. profess his love to the dead. <laughs> On the couch. <laughs> On the couch. While we're watching TV. Yeah, just, 
Here's Here's this big theme of this game. Context sensitive. The love this cutscene. I will actually the uh uh press B. Press B. Oh yeah. Fly <laughs> comes on. Uh, and it makes this nice thing. Press a ting nice. Nice ting. The lock ting. That's it. I just love how everybody's drunk. Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. I'll press B now. I mean he's kinda of over. <laughs> oh no. This is, he's like, dude, that's the last thing I fucking want right now. So, what does that mean? Thanks, loud bird. <laughs> it's sensitive to context. That's what context sensitive means. Okay. What does, uh, uh what, does, what does it mean that, uh... Or you could try it again, he says. Oh, is that what he says? Oh, helium. Hey, that's a valuable commodity these days. There's a worldwide shortage of helium. It is a non-renewable resource that is very important and scientific, and the American government hoards a lot of it. I didn't. I learned that recently. And I was like, oh, oh. oh. And I just filled up balloons with that shit. A nice whatever that was, gin and tonic. I think it was Alka Seltzer. Alka Seltzer, yeah, probably. Is what is what I get out of it, but like, how would that cure your hangover at all? Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Clever. I like your loads better. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you wanna skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to watch some of the- Aw, dang it, Conker, why'd you lie? We did it not let you? Uh, well, uh, you have to watch him first. <laughs> That's how I was slamming on it. <laughs> oh. So it doesn't let you skip him yet anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot about the water wings. Platforming is hard at the beginning. Oh, did you just get your fucking head? My head is way stuck, dude. Oh. I can't seem to get any further. I love how sure aware this game is that it's in a video game. Yeah. It's like, we're just gonna make this fucking thing. Very self-referential and just... It's like... It's like, this is what... This is what I am. I am breaking the floor. I am video game. I am video Hear me roar. Fourth wall? Get the fuck out of here. None of that shit. I do a fun cop. Funny helicopter and hail. that makes me harder. I love that. Hava. Just every now and then his accent slips out. Just comes out. He's like, shit. Fuck. Oh man, I'm super British. Oh, I'm so British. I'm so British. I hope he does. I, I doubt he does, but I really hope he does the female bull um, dogfish. Uh, I don't... Or the female catfish or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure. They're like, oh, yes. There's actually a series on YouTube of some of the people who worked on this game doing a let's play of it, basically. Oh, really? Yeah. It's and they talk about, like, the Just stuff they've done process. and who voiced what, and yeah. And, but it's a bit off because they're really bad at it. Oh, <laughs> they're really? They're bad at the game. I and, guess not every game designer is good at playing games. And, uh... They're also pointing a camera at the screen, so it's real OG style. Oh, that is super... When did they do that? Uh, fairly... Only a couple years ago. I don't think it's finished yet, either. Jesus. Probably because they don't have the time. Who's uh, this guy? If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. <laughs> I just want to get past, please. No. <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. I was expecting something I witty. just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets, gets right, right up your ass now. Yeah. And I'm sure 12 year old me, 10 year old me would be like, <laughs> he said ours. Not, not the clever thing Are about gothic architecture. Alien <laughs> talking about gothic architecture. Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. And then, of course, I wandered right up to him and he fucking smacks you. Yeah, so you don't want to go ahead and do that. You dude. probably... Real. Do I we mean, have to right now? Right away? I don't remember. Let's have to what? If you may... If you... Oh! Oh, you get all bloody, too. Yeah, he fucks you up. Oh, God. <laughs> he throws you in the water. Is he there... Didn't even lose life. Is there, um... 
Oh God, see, I can't even remember what I did. What you did? Like you, you get the frying pan here. Yeah, right? some. Like, I was just trying to remember if you had to go get hit by him, and then to be like, oh, I mean, I'm conquer the hedgehog. I mean, Wait, what? I conquer the hedgehog. <laughs> conquer the squirrel. <laughs> I fight with a frying pan. With a frying pan. I think it was more amusing for the viewers if you got struck. I'm tails the echidna. Is that what he is? No, he's a fox. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. I know Conquer is a. Wait, wait. Conquer's not a fox. No, wait, he's who's a the echidna? Uh, Knuckles. Uh, I don't even know what the fucking echidna is. It's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a beautiful left. Didn't I have a. Ah. Yeah. Try pressing B. See what that does. Hopefully something different than your little wimpy um, slap. Even even after that? he gets sober, he still slaps like a little S whore. Still slaps like a whore, bitch. Oh yeah, see, I, I like to carry a cast iron skillet in my pocket, too. Or does he put that right in his ass? Oh yeah, that goes right in his ass. This is probably going right up his ass. Right up his anus. Cast I hate iron, the key. The key... The, this game is not fucking easy. They were like, we gotta make this M. I remember in the uh, Live and Reloaded version, too, they did something weird with this part in the Xbox remake. There, got him, Jesus. I know that you get a you get a spiked baseball bat instead of a frying pan. I don't remember what they do with the key, though. I remember the Live and Reloaded being a lot easier. They did a lot of things to it. That was kind of meh. I actually have that, too. <clears throat> huh. Live and Reloaded. I tried to sell it, though. Cause it was, cause it's actually worth like sixty dollars, but like apparently everyone that wants it has, has it. it. Yeah. Cause like stuff only has value to a certain degree. Cause eventually a lot of people are gonna be like, I don't fucking care. I'll just get that shit on an emulator or something. Yeah. But we got the OG shit. The frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little. See ya. <laughs> I appreciate that the animations in this aren't, like, super stiff. There's a lot of character to their facial expressions and stuff. Yeah, they really, put, really, good. They really put a lot of work into this. I wonder what the development phase for this game was. Considering it changed from a kid-friendly oh, game it? called Conquer 12 Tales for the N64, it went through a hell of a change. Oh, god damn oh, it. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Oh, no, you're cool. You're cool. It's cool. It's okay. I still don't have life. Oh, d oh is it, are you invincible for uh, this at, part? At the point, at, at this moment, in Tutorial Land, we're good. We're on Tutorial Island? Oh wait, that's the wrong game. That's a different game. There's no Chinese here. Wait, what? I was making a RuneScape reference. Oh. Because a lot of bots get stuck on Tutorial Island. Because they're bots. That's cute. And a lot of bots are also Chinese. That's, that's how the internet works. Chinese sure do either like hacking things with bots or making horrible bootlegs of video games that already exist. I love when game reviewers do those though, because they're amazing. Because there's some pretty good ones. Like tic 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 Sometimes I get an ad on my phone for like pocket monster generations, and it's like just clearly Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. And I'm like, but they don't even like try to hide it. I watched. One of my friends played, and I was like, what is this? Like, that's a <laughs> Pikachu. Like, why aren't they getting sued into oblivion? I think I know what And the mobile market's so oversaturated with copyright, like... Infringement? Infringement. Well, just violent yep. infringement of Fantastic. copyright. They're just lucky that what? no company yeah. seems to care yet. <laughs> Ian, what's copyright infringement? Oh, is that when you infringe <laughs> copyright? Uh, see, I'm gonna... For now, when people ask me what a compound word or phrase means, I'm gonna tell them that. <laughs> they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, oh, what does it mean to, what does it mean to, like, pre-authorize a credit card? It's like, okay, well, it's when you authorize a credit card preemptively. And they're gonna be like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? What does that, what does that mean? Oh, oh, here we got, uh, Dr. Auschwitz here, or whatever, Dr. Mengele. Casual World War II reference. Casual disturbing history reference. <laughs> This rock also voiced bitch. by Chris, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Again, he does Crazy. many, many characters. Professor. Professor. Welcome. Welcome to the Pants I have a job for you. Let me give this fuck a lozenge. As you can he see. needs. <laughs> he needs like. Does he need some strips for all? Like he's maybe some honey teas in order instead of all that milk. Yeah. No shit. Science has been again. 
I love that it's a common problem. Again, they. Like. Oh, yeah, you do that. Uh, you know, I could, you know, just tell you that you're a fucking moron. <laughs> Maybe get a different table. Maybe, you know, put it on the arm of your chair or just you know, hold the glass. <laughs> hold the until, damn glass. Hold the glass until you finish, finish drinking it. Um, I have to go get rid of. Well, like, what else are you doing that you really need? To put it down anyway. What does he do? What does this king do? <laughs> Aside from drink milk and get mad about the table. <laughs> get mad about his table. How did he become the king? Is it just that he can eat everybody's ass? Uh, He's like 12. Yeah. Like, do you think about the skill of this game? Like, is Conqueror really short or is the Panther King like 12 feet tall? I'm pretty sure the Panther King's ridiculously gigantic. Like, he's just like a humongous, crazy human? Yeah. <laughs> I love the little set, the little like skulls. The little, the yeah. <laughs> Straight up comic book type censorship. Oh, do they not even? They don't even let them say shit. I forgot. They weren't even allowed to say that in 1993. Um, clean slide. Yeah, clean slide. Uh, this uh, anti-gravity chocolate is kind of working. It's kind of working. Yeah. Uh, that's working. I like how they out the fucking window with that. I like how they. Create an explanation for like for, the floating life cast. for just for the health. Yeah, and it's no, just like, oh, yeah, oh, it's, I, I made this, it kind of works. I made anti gravity chocolate, but I don't want it. There it is, there it is, and now we have health. Now we have health. We are no longer invincible, which is unfortunate. So now this game's actually going to be challenging. Oh, yeah. So, oh man, much like Vandal Kazooie, there's a lot of walking around and talking to things to start with. Yeah, we'll start with uh, Vandal Kazooie's a little worse, I think. There's not an overabundance of different stuff going on in this, no. What did it say? She ain't rich because... It's good she's rich because she ain't cute. <laughs> I like when you find her husband later. <laughs> That's very nice of Conquer. Just follow the signs. See... The signs are quite literal in this place, too. It's just, uh, yeah, naughty like... and nice. Or nasty, rather. Nasty and nice. I like I like that when she says, follow the signs. And you're like, are, are you... The do, one sign? Do you mean there's symbols, or do you mean there's literal signs? There's only the one sign. Oh, really? There's that one sign. I thought there was a bunch of... That... There's only the one sign. <laughs> <laughs> I like this shit. This is good shit. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. If you enjoyed your time here, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see the next episode, go ahead and click or tap here. If you want the entire playlist for this series, click or tap here. And if you're new here and want to catch my future videos, click or tap on the circular icon here. Alright, remember, you're the bomb.